and when I got the call, I just dropped everything that I was doing and actually, like, just sped all the way to the hospital. It's the call no parent ever wants to get, answering the phone to the horrifying news that your child has been attacked by a dog and being rushed to the hospital, leaving your thoughts running wild. To me, that could mean anything. It could be a couple of puncture wounds. It could be what she's experiencing now. It could have been even worse. Becca Chitwood says her kids were at their grandparents' house Sunday playing in the backyard. The neighbor's dog got into their yard and began biting Chitwood's daughter, Lillian, on the face. She adds in the two days following the attack, Lillian is in a lot of pain but recovering, as the dog attack caused her numerous near-fatal wounds. There was a, like a slice on her neck, and it was about three centimeters from severing the artery. And then she has um, the cut here, or the the bite here went all the way down in her face. Chipwood says there will be extensive nerve damage to her daughter's face, and doctors don't know if more surgery will be needed. Grateful for the quick actions of her son Nicholas, rushing to his sister's help, stopping the dog from attacking his sister and getting them to safety. I didn't want her to, to die. It was hard, but I didn't think so for my brother to help me, because if he wouldn't, I would be dead by now. Having a long road to recovery, Chitwood is just happy the worst that could happen didn't happen. I'm very proud. He's the best big brother in the world.